Hello once more and welcome to economics class. Today we'll continue with our study on the theory of supply and we're looking at the types of supply that we have. Okay, uh, do not forget that these videos, this episode, this series are brought to you by the OT School Jam CBT practice application. If you have made a conscious decision to pass your exam once and for all, you need that app on your phone or on your laptop immediately. We will talk about the app in a moment. Let us see a jam pass question from the OT Schools app. It's a 2004 question, number 29. Using the question search feature, we're able to search for types of supply. And we we'll saw these questions. Uh, it says, it's been displayed on your screen. It said, if an, if an increase in the price of good X leads to an increase in the supply of good Y, X and Y are said to be A says composite, B says jointly supplied, C says competitive, D says jointly demanded. Okay, so we'll come back to this question and many more questions at the end of the class because at all three schools, we believe in teaching you first. Let us give you value and after which answering questions will be the list of your problems. So please stay till the end of the class where we will take the question section. We do not take questions until the end of the class. So learn first. So download the application and activate it and start what enjoying the benefit of what study. Okay, the app has all the past questions you need for your exam. It has a classroom feature with jam syllabus and lecture notes structured according to that jam syllabus. There's a question search feature where you can search for question according to the topic, okay, that you are searching for. Likewise, there's a mock challenge on the application. In that mock challenge, all students that are writing jam for this year come to the application to compete with each other, to win amazing prizes, and to get us to jam pass question, jam likely exam question, and to familiarize themselves with how jam sets their questions. And the course at the end of each mock exam, all right, you will see your score released just like jam, thereby building your confidence and able to track your, pre your progress or preparation for the main jam examination. All right, so please get the app, activate it. Activation is less than the price of rice and chicken in a good restaurant right now as we speak. So please do not be stingy to yourself or to your future. Get the app and what future in your future. All right, so now let us go to the types of food supply. Uh, number one, okay, there are actually three types of supply we're going to look at, okay, competitive uh, supply, then we'll look at joint or complementary supply, then we'll look at the composite or supply, all right? So let's just look at the first one, which is the competitive supply, okay? Before we look at it, if I'm not like this video, what you are doing is very wrong, it shows how wicked you are. Please, as you are watching now, you can just kindly click on, the, on that like button, okay? And if you have not shared, if you have not clicked on the share button, what you are doing is wicked. So please, share so that your other friends can see it. Share to your class group, share to your mates. Let everyone learn and pass freely. These classes are all for free. I hear someone is collecting 10,000 Naira to give you these classes. Please, they are completely what free, all right? Completely free, F-R-O-E-E. -E. If someone asks you to pay, ask them that you know that they are completely free, all right? So let us look at competitive supply. Okay, we say this is the supply of two commodities. For example, goods X and good Y, such, as, such that an increase in the supply of one of the goods, which is goods S, will lead to a decrease in the supply of goods Y and vice versa, all right? So two goods, X and Y, an increase in one, in the supply of one leads to what? A corresponding decrease. It leads to a decrease, not corresponding, it leads to a decrease rather in the supply of what? Of Y, okay? And of course, it's the supply of what? Goods. In which what one would exclude the other. Okay, so if you are supplying one, you know what supply the other one. All right. So let us see, let us explain this competitive supply in a way that you, what you will understand it what better. Okay, so for competitive supply, the word we use for competitive supply is alternative goods. Okay, alternative goods. Let us look at that. Types of supply, competitive supply. We say that what competitive goods that are in competitive supply, okay are known as what are called what? alternative alternative goods okay or what or products okay there are alternative goods or products that what that a firm could make with their what resources a firm has resources right so these are uh, uh, competitive goods they are goods they are products that a firm could make with their what resources for example a farmer a farmer may decide to what? To produce, to farm, or to grow tomatoes, or decide to grow carrots using essentially the same factors of photo production. And perhaps 
okay, the fixed capital that's available to the farmer, all right? So you may decide to, to farm either tomatoes or what carrots, okay? Using essentially the same factor of production, which is what? Which is land, okay? The factor of production you used to plant here is what is land, all right? And this, with the, using the same fixed, this, using the fixed capital that's available to him, okay? So maybe carrots are in high demand, you may decide to what? This year, in this growing, in this growing year, plant carrots, okay? And forgo what? Tomatoes, okay? So the opportunity cost of what? Of, of growing one of the crops, okay, is essentially means what you are sacrificing was the what the other, okay. So in one land, though, all right, you can plant that carrots there, okay. And in the next growing season, we decide to say, okay, let me plant what tomatoes. Let's say tomato is in higher demand, okay. So that is what competitive what supply. Land has many uses, okay. In the UK now. The UK now many people are many farmers are converting their lands to to solar what plants okay solar plants to create what uh, energy what renewable what energy what sources okay so land can also be used for residential so you can use the same land for what for commercial okay and in if you look very well along around your vicinity there are so many all oh, those old industries that are no longer functioning some of them have been converted to residential okay so some residential can be converted to commercial commercial can be converted to residential land has so many many what uses okay so that is what competitive what supply now let us go to uh, number two, which is the joint or complementary supply for joints, it means that what? Okay, okay, they are going together. Joint, okay, they are going together. They are coming what together, all right? That is joint what supply. Joint or complementary supply, we say this is the supply of two commodities, okay? For example, goods X and goods Y, all right? Such that an increase in supply of goods X will, lead, will also lead to a corresponding increase in the supply of goods Y. Okay, so if you are increasing goods X, okay, goods Y will naturally increase also. The supply of goods Y will naturally inc increase also. That's why we say it is the supply of one good that includes, it includes the other. Why for uh, competitive, it excludes the other because if you are farming tomato, you cannot farm carrots now, B. Okay, so in one planting season, you may plant to tomatoes, in the other one, you see, you want to plant what carrots. Okay, so it excludes the other. Okay, and increase in one for comp for competitive leads to a decrease in the other. But for joint or complementary, an increase in one leads to a corresponding increase in the supply of what of the other. Okay, let us see uh, more about this. Okay, in economics, okay, we use joint or complementary what supply to describe products. Okay, or processes that yields two or more attributes. Okay, used to describe what products. Or processes that yields two or more attributes. Okay, we use what joint or complementary supply to describe product or processes that yield two or more attributes. E.g., the livestock industry, livestock in the livestock what industry. Okay, industry where cows, cows, you know your normal maloon are cows, where cows are they are utilized for what for, for beef. In, from cow you can get beef, from cow you can get what again milk, from cow you can also get what hides. Okay, you know what hides now. All right, so one animal, okay. This one for joints, okay. This was what you call principal supply, principal supply. Okay, so our principal supply is what is cow. Cow is one that is what that's bringing what all of this what other what products. Okay, so the demand for what if the demand for meat increases, what will you grow? It's not cow. You grow more cows. Okay, so that you get what more meat. And as I, as you are growing more cows to get more meat, will you not get beef? You get beef. Will you not get hides? You get hides. That's why we say they are joints. They are what. The, they are bonded together. They are bonded together. Okay? They are bonded together. The supply of one bond is like is a combination. You cannot separate them. So if, if you need more hides, we will not get more beef. If you grow more cows, you get more beef, you get meat too. Okay, if you need beef, we will not get meat, you get meat, you get hides, and so on and so forth. So they go together. They are joint or complementary. Okay? Together. Okay, for example, let's say wool. Wool. You know wool now, W-O-O-L. We get wool from sheep. Okay? If the demand for wool increases, okay? If demand for wool increases, what does it mean? It means that what? You have to grow more sheep so that you can get wool from them. And what does it actually translate to? It means that there also will be an increase, a corresponding increase in sheep meat 
what production. Okay, so there will be a lot of sheep meat available. Okay, so it's as simple as ABC. They will go together. You cannot separate them. If you need more sheep meat, we'll be getting wool too. They go together. Okay, that's why they are called joint or complementary what supply. Now let us go to the last uh, type of supply which we we'll look at. Uh, please, if, if I have not liked the video, what I'm doing is wrong. Go like it, share, click on the share. You can share this video now. Okay, if you're on Facebook, share it now. Click on share button, then just drop a comment. Say join this free class and enjoy. Okay, share, come back and continue your class. Please do that. Help us grow. All right. So now let us see the last uh, type of supply we we'll look at, which is the composite supply. I like this one very well. Composite supply. We we'll say this is the supply of different items. That satisfy a particular want, okay? Okay, like in the monopolistic world industry, okay, that supply, let's say, beverages, okay, they'll supply tea, they'll supply milk, they'll supply what sugar. What does it satisfy? It satisfies the demand for what? For beverage, okay? It satisfies the demand for beverage. Also, for composite, composite means uh, supply comprising, supply, it means supply, okay, comprising of two or more goods or service which are naturally which are naturally bonded together okay which are naturally what bonded what together okay that is what composite that's what composite was supply all right for example a flight ticket a flight ticket Okay, if you take a flight ticket, let's say from Nigeria to Ghana, all right, once you get that ticket, it qualifies you for you to take meal on the flight. Okay, so as you are going from Nigeria to Ghana, as you are flying, they will give you snacks, they will give you water, they will give you, you have, you can use the restroom, even AC will be blowing you. Okay, you have paid up for all of those things when you got the was when you got the flight ticket. Okay, they are all accounted for in the flight ticket, so they are bonded what together. All right, so it's as simple as it is. That is what composite what supply. Let's just go to the auto school jump up, answer some questions, and we are out of here. Yeah, this is a 2004 question number 29. 2004 number 29. Okay, it says, if an increase in the price of good S leads to an increase, 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 you should already know that it is a joint or complementary supply. Okay, A is a composite, B is a jointly supplied, C is a competitive, D is a jointly demanded. Jointly supplied is very correct number, uh, option B. 2022 number eight, palm oil and palm kernel. Palm oil, okay, if, if, you, if you see a palm fruit, okay, that has what palm, uh, palm nuts on it, okay, you will get what palm kernel from it. And you know how this is the bangana, the one you making red oil, palm oil, okay? So you can get palm oil, you can get what palm kernel from what, from that one tree, okay? And they go together. There's no way you can get palm oil and not get palm kernel. So you surely know that what, they are jointly, okay? That's a joint what supply, okay? They say A, joint supply, palm oil and palm are in A, joint supply, B say competitive demand, C say competitive supply, D say complementary demand. Correct answer is joint supply. So let's look at next 2010 number 17. 2010 number 17, they say if commodity X is a byproduct of commodity Y. This implies that both commodities are, okay, obviously they are jointly supplied, they are byproducts. Okay, you are getting one. Okay, you have a principal supply, then you're getting a byproduct from them. Like, uh, you're getting hides, you're getting your sheep, uh, so you're getting beef, you're getting meat. Okay, those are other products you're getting from what? From one what? One principal supply. All right? So that is what joint, they go together. It's a joint what? Supply. Okay, so there are many more other questions from this application. Ensure you download the app, activate it, start practicing your way to success. I'll see you in the next one where we talk about the elasticity of supply. See you there.